Peculiars have been persecuted through the ages. Hence, we live in places like this. I'm a type of peculiar called an Imbrian. Yeah, you turn into a bird. Well, I do, yes. But that's not very useful. An Imbrian's main skill is the manipulation of time. We choose a safe place, a safe day, and create a loop. What do you mean? Well, a loop reserves the last 24 hours. Reset the loop, and the day is yours to live in again. Reset it daily, and you can stay there forever. Entirely safe from the outside world. Well, Grandma, what did you think of Miss Peregrine's School for Peculiar Children? Which I think is a new candidate for the longest movie title of the year. <laughs> Definitely. Uh, which is a fantasy film based on a series of books about uh, a woman who, a uh, magical woman, who runs a school for peculiar children, as the title would uh, suggest. You all have uh, strange abilities which would, uh, let us say, stick out amongst the uh, real world. Uh, I don't want to give away too much of what each of them do and, and the situation they're in, but they are basically uh, trapped in time in 1943 uh, in the same day, sort of a Groundhog Day situation where they live the same. They, they're they're living the same day over and over again, sort of. Uh, they are joined by uh, a boy from the present who. 2016. And yes. Made who's, the same. Uh, who, whose grandfather told him about this world that again, the grandfather had lived in when he was younger, and uh, tells him to go and visit the uh, place when the grandfather dies at the beginning of the film. Which was in Wales, of all places. Uh, so yeah, he travels to Wales. So he lives with in Florida. Dad. He lives in Florida. He yeah. travels to Wales, and he links up with the the, the uh, peculiar school. School. Peculiar he children. finds it. He finds it. Uh, we find out all about the different people there, how things go, but then we also find out that they are threatened by a bunch of uh, bad people, uh, sort of magical, evil people. Yes. Uh, and the rest of the film is again how they uh, deal with the bad people and will they survive and all that sort of stuff. What did you think of the film? Honestly, I don't know what to think. It was, I didn't know all of this background before we went into the film, so I was learning as the filmmakers took us through uh, our hero, his name was Jake, and how he knew because his grandfather had told him and instructed him he needed to go to the island, he needed to find this place and uh, since it was in his time the last thing that his grandfather had asked him to do he accepted that mission he felt he really had to do it and uh, since his dad was concerned about what was going on with his boy he took him to uh, Wales so what did you think of the story well, I thought it was very complicated and challenging. Um, unless you were familiar with the story or read all the novels that was based on the series of novels, you had to pay close attention to understand what was going on because it had uh, interesting ideas about time and the importance of being loyal to each other and supporting uh, your fellow peculiar folks. <laughs> and as you said earlier, they all had a, a certain peculiarity that they could use if they needed to at one time. I don't know what to think about it. I, I, you know, if we watched it in 3D, it was very interesting, you know, all of the special effects were well done. I'm undecided. What did you think? Undecided. Well, undecided, I, I can, yes. I can understand what you're, what you're saying about it. I, I also uh, 
you know, there are, are a lot of things to recommend in it. Again, the the uh, the actors are all quite good. The the uh, all the production design, special effects, cinematography. I mean, it looks great. I mean, all of the stuff that they they uh, present uh, is very interesting. It's just, again, the, the place and the situation is all very interesting. Um, where they get bogged down a bit is in the uh, sort of the, not just the story, but uh, sort of the logic of all of the magic and the, the, uh, the, the evil people and all that sort of stuff. Uh, again, they spend about an hour, I would say, just setting up the, the people and the place, the children and the teacher and the, you know, all, all of that stuff. They, they, they spend all that time doing that before they even get into what you might call the meat of the story. Uh, and all of that goes, all that first part goes sort of slowly while you go through all of this stuff. I mean, it's sort of interesting, but it's very slow. And then things pick up in the last half of the film. But unfortunately, again, I'd say that they, they, uh, they sacrifice some understanding by the audience uh, later on. Again, they, it's, it's, hard to, it's hard to really put it all together in terms of the logic of, of you know, why this is happening, why that is happening. Uh, you know, if you just sit back and watch all of the special effects and and the uh, interesting things that's yeah. going on. Well, I mean, that's sort of interesting, but again, you would sort of, you're sort of wanting to be able to understand it a little more, and that's again, where I think they fall short. So well, again, I would say it's sort of sort of uh, borderline for me. Uh, I'm not sure. I mean, there's there's a lot to recommend it, but there's some problems with it. But I don't know who I would recommend this to. <laughs> you know, uh, I'm fairly well-read older lady and well I mean it has some know. it has some hints of sort of Harry Potterish sort of yes. world you know yeah. magic yeah. and and uh, magical people and yeah. non-magical people and, you know what was that, what that was all and about. again it's, it's directed by Tim Burton who's known for his you know visual style and such yeah. and again all of that is very interesting but again I you know it's sort of I'm, again, I'm on the fence as to whether I would really recommend it or not. I, I would up to say, to if you are interested in this film, and it was interesting, that you might want to uh, own up on the story before you go see the film version of the story. Uh, you know, don't you think that would help? Well, of course people? it would help, but I, I don't think that I don't think anybody should have to do homework before they go to a <laughs> film. I, I think that. That again, it's the it's the fault of the filmmaker or the screenwriter uh, to uh, you know it's it's their responsibility to make it understandable. If they're not doing that, then that the film's got problems. So okay. what in the in the end, what would you uh, say, Grandma? What I would, was your? I would uh, make it sideways thumb. It's not a down because I did enjoy the film. Mm -hmm. It's not an up because I can't recommend it wholeheartedly. So I'm kind of a sideways uh, recommendation. Okay. That's the best I can do. What about you? They'll have to take that. Uh, <laughs> again, I wouldn't, uh, I, I don't think I'd say not, don't see it. Again, I'd leave it up to people to decide. I, I, I couldn't, there, there are things to recommend it, but there are things to not recommend it. So Correct. Uh, it's too, it's too uh, sort of borderline for me. Okay, I think we agree on agreeing. Sort of kind. Yes. <laughs>